Today we're going to be discussing the Plan Region tool. This tool lets you define a region within a plan view that has its own unique view range, different from the overall view. To help illustrate this, let's go ahead and zoom in to our restrooms here. We can't tell from this view, but there's actually a window right above the sink in the women's and the men's restroom. Now those aren't visible in this view because our view range does not encompass them. So when we look at our primary range, we have top, cut plane, and bottom. Our top is where our eyes are looking down on the building. Right now it's set to associated level first floor. Our cut plane is when we actually start to begin to see the building. The bottom is the bottom of our view. We also have this option down here, view depth, with the level. We'll see that here it's also associated level first floor. This allows us to see items underneath the bottom of our view, similar to an underlay. It'll change the line type so you'll be able to distinguish those items below the bottom of our view and those within our primary range. So if you take notice here, our cut plane is set to four feet. We can go ahead and hit cancel. So to get a view of these windows, let's go ahead and create a section. Go ahead and take a look. We see that we have both of our windows here. Now if you look at our properties palette, we'll see that the sill height is set to five feet. Remember our cut depth was four feet, meaning that we start to see the building about a foot below where our windows are. Now let's go to our back to our first floor plan. Now we want these windows visible in this view, but we don't have to change the view range for the entire first floor plan. So what we can do is use the plan region tool. So from our view tab, plan views, plan region. Our dialog box pops up, and I'm going to go ahead and choose rectangle. Green check mark to say that we're done, and there we have it. Now we can adjust this to the size that we need. But for our purposes, we just want to make sure that both windows are enclosed in this view. Hit Escape. Now you may be asking why our window is still not visible. It's because we have to change the view range in our plan region itself. To do so, simply select the plan region, go to our view range, and hit Edit. Now remember our sill height was 5 feet, so if we simply change our cut depth from 4 feet to 5 feet, hit apply, hit OK, there we have it, our windows are visible. We are able to accomplish this without changing the view depth of our entire first floor plan, and this plan region will not print the dashed lines, that is, but our windows will be visible. So there you have it, this has been CAD Teacher VDCI Tips and Tricks for Revit using the plan region tool.